Betty Reed Soskin has a lot to celebrate. How are you doing today? Fine, how are you? She's already the country's oldest national park ranger, an author, a musician, a civil rights activist, and today she can claim two more big accomplishments. A school renamed in her honor. And turning 100. 100 years old. Yes. <laughs> how do you feel? I feel, uh, I don't know how I feel. I, I feel sometimes 100 and sometimes 80, <laughs> sometimes 50. That youthful energy is what's kept Reed Soskin working for more than a decade, first in person and now on Zoom at the Rosie the Riveter World War II Homefront National Park Museum. There she shares her own experience as a black woman working during the war as a file clerk in a segregated union hall. On the eve of her centennial birthday this week, we visited Reed Soskin at her home in Richmond and asked, what's her secret to such a long life? I'm not sure uh, that there is a secret. It's not like you have a glass of wine every day or no. <laughs> whiskey every night? No. <laughs> chocolate? Yes. <laughs> A little bit of chocolate. Yes. It turns out she does have a sweet tooth, but the real answer might simply be genetics. Her mother lived to be 101. Her grandmother, who was born a slave in 1856, lived to be 102. And I was born in 1921 and still here. Reed Soskin was born in Detroit, Michigan on September 22nd, 1921. Since then, she's lived through 17 U.S. presidents. But for her, just one stands out above the rest. What's one memory that you're most proud of? Standing with, with Obama mm -hmm. on the stage in Washington, D.C. I had in my, in my hand a little evening bag. In that bag was a picture of my great-grandmother, and I was holding it as I was introducing the President of the United States in the shadow of the Lincoln Memorial, in the shadow of the, of the White House that was built by slaves. The whole meaning of that has really captured me. It's probably a moment you never, ever even thought would ever have been possible. No, I, 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 would, I would never have guessed that my life would have contained such vignettes. The latest vignette this moment, today, at the newly renamed Betty Reed Soskin Middle School in El Sobrante. And our children deserve to have someone to look up to. Reed Soskin brought to tears, overwhelmed with love and gratitude. Having a school named for me is more than I could have ever thought of because it means that a number of children will go into the world knowing who I was and what, what I was doing here. And maybe it will make a difference. I think maybe it will make a difference.